What's up everybody, this is Miguel. So I was at Costco the other day and I saw this water filter and I thought to myself, you know what? I've never used one of these. So I wanna know, does it filter? Does it do a good job? I don't know. So today we're testing this Bright to water filter. So stay tuned. So before we test this filter, I wanna get a few things out the way. The word filter means to remove. So according to this product, it removes, it says uh, copper, mercury and cadmium. The only problem is I don't have any tools to specifically test that, but I do have what's called a TDS, okay, measuring tool, <laughs> a TDS meter. Okay, so this TDS meter measures, TDS means total dissolved solids. And that number that you're gonna get from this meter, it's like, if you do a comparison test, your tap water versus this, we should see a lower number in our total dissolved solids. If we don't, that means that it is not filtering, thus it is not removing anything from the water. So we're gonna use our TDS meter <laughs> and we're gonna see how this thing does. Does it filter? All right, let's open her up. Okay, so here are the instructions. We're gonna flush the filter with cold water for 15 seconds. We're gonna insert the filter. We will add some cold water. But the thing to note here is that it says it is normal for carbon dust to appear in the first three pictures. So we're gonna dump about six pictures just to be sure. And then that should be ready to go. All right, so I flushed this for about 30 seconds with cold water and I also clean the pitcher. So it's ready, put it inside. It's got grooves, so I mean, it's pretty easy to, to insert. You're not really going to mess it up. <laughs> it's got like a little grid pattern. Okay. So now, let's flush. So one of the things that I already don't like about this product is that it's painfully slow to fill with water. It's like, wow, I just want to have a drink, bro. All right, we're ready to do some testing. I'm gonna put tap water in this cup. I'm going to put some purified drinking water from Costco in this cup. I'm going to add some of this stuff in this cup. In the last one, I'm going to do a comparison test. So this is going to be water from my refrigerator using the General Electric filter on there. And we're gonna check TDS levels and we'll see what we get. Okay, this is our tap water. And we are at 381. This is our purified water from Costco. The reason why I'm doing this is so you can see that my TDS meter actually works. So we are getting a 15. All right, this is our water from the Brighto filter. We are getting a reading of, Jesus, 271. All right, not bad. So this is our water from the refrigerator door. This is from the General Electric refrigerator water filter. And we are getting a reading of 357. All right, let's look at our results. So these numbers are PPMs, parts per million, and that gives us our TDS levels. The Brita actually did a really good job. It actually did more than I had anticipated. So it dropped our, um, it dropped by 110 ppms, my tap water. It's doing something, it's doing, I think it's more than what I expected. My GE fridge filter, oh lord, it only dropped it by like 24, that's doing horrible. So that brights is almost like four times as efficient in filtering my water. So I didn't expect this. I'm actually a fan of this. I'm going to probably use this more than I do my uh, refrigerator filter. So the cost of the Brita filters are about $5 each filter on Amazon. There's a three pack for $15. So at $5, considering that the average time use that they expect is about two months. So they recommend that you replace it every two months. Um, doing the math, I mean, you're looking at it costing around 25, like about $30, let's say, a year. It's not bad. The GE filter is 
they say that it lasts about six months, does not even filter very good, and it costs much more. So the, the I think the GE filter was about 35 to 40 each one. And at that cost, you're looking at around $80 a year. So the bright tip filter, the only annoyance that I have with it is that when you are adding water and how it trickles into it, it just, it feels like it takes a very long time because it does. But other than that, I mean, it's definitely a good product. I can see why Costco has it on the shelf. And, um, you know, if you guys are uh, interested, I think it's a, it's a decent product. Well, see you guys next time. It's time for me to get me a drink.